Hello guys. So today I am planning to show you uh, some positions, actually um, play with you some positions. Uh, so I working right now with uh, Karpovs and the game manual and uh, Karpovs and Kalinichenko actually. And uh, there are lots of interesting positions. So some of them, uh, for some of them, we need to calculate, like uh, to calculate deeply. Sometimes just looking for uh, typically tactic, and somewhere we need just playing more positionally. So using weaknesses um, in opponent position. Uh, and I uh, just select uh, 10 positions for now, so the most um, exciting and the most interesting uh, as m for my opinion. Yeah, so almost all of them are uh, was played with very famous players, so there is Karpov's games, Batvinik's, Fisher's and other, 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 and uh, so I can send you, I can send you challenge on uh, light chess, and we can practice in this end games by each color, so by white, by black. So there is no, like, uh, so this is just for practicing. So um, in some positions it's more obvious solution. Just you need to calculate attentive, but uh, most of them are for uh, your calculation as well but more like planning so you need to find the right plan you need to find where your pieces would uh, will go in future and how you can improve your position so that's why guys if you are interested just send me in chat your name on Liches and I will send you I will send you request challenge and we can practice in these positions. Very interesting in this position. This is from Batwinix game. So looking like extra piece but uh, there is two pawns against this extra piece. So then it's also not so obvious. Actually, <laughs> it's also yeah very, like not very but pretty hard to win this position even with extra piece. The same here. It's Karpov's games also looking like extra piece, but still not really 100% uh, winning because this knight looking not good. In this corner, still after knight b2, two past pawns. So, but yeah, this is good chance to play, or at least to play close like Karpov, <laughs> because you know Karpov too good in end games. And here also, this is uh, Anand, Anand Ivanchuk also extra piece but for three pawns so also not so obvious and also very instructive game so that's why guys yeah send me your request if you want to practice them so for now uh, for now until until now uh, messages uh, I will start with uh, tactic but uh, don't be shy guys so if you want to practice them yeah you just send me your link your name and I will send you challenge but right now let's Let's play Puzzle Rush first. So let's say five minutes. So 
pin. Tá bom, ataque. Hum, there's no mate and two. Double attack. Back rank weakness. Eliminate defender. Um, thanks. Here. Ah, wait, take, 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 and take just seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Waste some time. Then H4. Skewer. Double, I uh, know, just uh, discover a check. Can we chop this queen? G5, G3, H4, G4, no? <coughs> or just take B2 and then C3. Ah, uh, 37. Not bad, but not perfect actually. 
so for now nobody want to practice and end game okay let me know if you will change your mind but then let's start let's play three minutes One mate, then back rank. Here double attack. Then pin. Then trade pieces. Here check. Here check. Here. Wait, <laughs> just trade first. Uh, take this and bishop b5. Knight is pinned. Twenty nine. Mm -hmm. So so. Okay, then let's try some puzzle bottle. So it's take some time, few minutes here, but it's long today. Finally.
h3, h3, then h4. Might be h6 and knight c4. Eliminate defender. Ah oh, no, queen, queen c8 immediately. Ah, uh, stupid mistake. Come on. Oh. Oh my god. What is here is the best move. Just be sub G5. Oh. This is terrible. But bishop g5, knight d4, but knight f6, oh, oh my god, <laughs> this is terrible.
Ah, D1. D1. Ha. Queen D1, not D3. Take B6 first, then A8. Let's take this queen. Ah, G6, why? G6... Yeah, not good for now.
Yeah, finally. Finally, I won. Yeah. Okay, so set it down, not bad. Okay, guys, so let's play one more. Oh, 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 too fast. Too fast.
come on. Come on, H5, not good. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh. So guys, let me know if you want to play against me some endings some very interesting end games i will send you challenge so i just waiting for your challenges for your names Ah, G8, not G6. Oh, okay, so yeah, puzzles. Yes, they're not uh, very tough in the beginning, but later, yeah. So, Kevin, do you want to play? Do you want to practice in end games? This is very uh, interesting end game, so so we can practice right now if you want. So
Come on. I need to check this puzzle later. It's looking weird. Man, misclick, oh my god. Ah. ah, this way. Okay. Man. Ah. Yeah, wait. Takes you four years. <laughs> uh, take this, take this, check. Here, take. Take and then knight c6, right? Let's check. So take this, check, and take this. And then if c6, ah, if c6, then just f1 mate. Yeah, I missed f1 mate. This one, let's check this one. Ah, uh, intermediate move first. Take this and then take a five. Oh, yeah, very simple. And here, yeah, here was misclick. Yeah, I, I see, I see in this idea. Knight g6, queen h2. Okay, yeah. No, on Liches, because I cannot send the challenge with, like, online, on Chesscom with uh, ready position on the board, so I can do it only on Liches. I will just finish this one, and will send you challenge. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Mm. 
What is here? Yeah. Just green? Rook G1, oh my god. Twenty-five only. Yeah, that's tough. Okay, Kevin. So I will send you challenge right now. So let's start with uh, less pieces. So with pawn and game. So So, first one, uh, it's white to move. So, yeah, I will play in black pieces. So, Kevin, yeah, uh, analyze this position at anti first. So, white is up to bones. So, there is one past bone for now. But probably we can create second in future. So then try to h7, imme h7 immediately. I will try to catch your pawn. But anyway, you still have some other pawns which you can promote. But you're still outside of the square. Look, you're still outside, so there is no sense in king b2, because uh, f3 and this square, it's even smaller. So again, again looking like you're playing passively. But make sure, yeah, if uh, you cannot reach the square, even with your move, then just do not waste your time for this move. So yeah, there is no chances, uh, like, yeah, there is no chances here. So let's try again, but uh, do not play so fast because you did it almost immediately. Sure, yeah, let's play again. But uh, yeah, so I will send you again with the same color and no rush. Yeah, just take a look attentive how you can deflect king.
Yeah, but uh, then you need just promote your pawn first. You have almost two potential past pawns, c4, e4. So if you will deflect d6, then you will have one more past pawn at least. So then just take a look which one you can sacrifice for open uh, way for other one. This one. Uh, I guess black will promote first, but let's check. For example, f3. So yeah, and I will able to stop your pawn. Okay, let's play very much. So yeah, then I playing with white. So yeah, h7 immediately not makes sense. He will catch it immediately. So leave this pawn here, but then we can create another past pawn. So we have these two pawns. So then we need to calculate c5 first or e5 first. So for example, let's start with c5. Yeah, and then uh, we can try to deflect the skin, so e5. And then, yeah, you see your, your king gets out of our square. Let's check another variation, let's check uh, e5 first. Is it the same or no? Ah, uh -huh, c5 again, okay. Let's try c5. So, maybe let, um, some, if f3 immediately. Yeah, let's say f3 immediately. Oh, why, Kevin? Just promote. Now just made. So just promote and, and then you have a, uh, two extra pawns. So King K3, I don't know, maybe it's just misclick, but 
Yeah, be attentive. This is. And also, it was very fast move. So. So let's check. E5 then. So what if E5 check? C5. Yeah, F3. And looking like black will promote first. Yeah. Uh, if it's H7 here, 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 or immediately C7. Okay, C7. And queen. You're still down a bone, so try to. Uh, create perpetual check or just win maybe my pawn h6 looking weak so looking for maybe double attack or maybe you will, you will able to promote your pawn but make sure that my pawn not so dangerous because next move h7 and then troubles okay so check uh, let's say King K3 for now. But King K3 is also dangerous because A1 made available. But not yet. So I guess it's fine for now. G6 G6 I guess Queen D2 was not bad with the perpetual check before D2 and also attacking H6 but let's check maybe G6 as well good what about trade here here trade trade but I guess then but at least I can give a check and take a5 yeah this one looking better so check oh, wait um, from a6 wherever let's check here
So this is actually still interesting end game. Queen and game, two against one, but in Queen Gambit sometimes even two pawns it's not enough for winning because Queen very powerful piece, lots of opportunities for perpetual check. Queen d6, why not capture immediately? But okay, uh, so I guess Queen b4 only. And then you will take this pawn on h6, right? Okay, yeah, so like I told you, it's still hard, still tough position because lots of uh, checks available. So, queen c1 next available, and then uh, perpetual check. So, I need to open space for my king so queen e4 blocked this pawn attacked this pawn and opened some space my queen in center so looking like he will control lots of squares or queen c4 with tempo then a5 yeah queen c4 with tempo Yeah, queens, uh, end games. Yeah, there are lots of chances for uh, checks for perpetual check. So that's why sometimes even two pawns or three not enough for winning. So we, we need to play. Are you sure? But this is just winning for white already. It's not make sense. So you have only chance with your with your uh, checks so perpetual checks it was your chance here now i will stop your pawn and that's it and i have uh, protected past pawn so then it's winning so here was yeah wrong solution to trade queens you have only chance to make a perpetual check Yeah, you need just checks. You make lots of checks and that's it, but you need to save your queen. Now it's yeah, now it's losing position. So that's why also every time analyzed, is it makes sense to trade your piece? So sometimes when uh, there is lots of there is lots of pieces, so we need to analyze our position and make sure that Sometimes we need just imagine if uh, our pawn end game it's winning, if it's better, then we can trade some pieces. If it's not, then we need to play with our pieces. Okay, uh, okay, Kevin, let's play another position. Uh, let's say which one? Let's play this pawn end game. Also, interesting idea. But no rush, no rush with this position, just take a look attentive, find the plan. So here it's white to move, so I will play with black. So yeah, uh, there is equal by material, but you have passed pawn. Black can create in future past pawn. Your king gets more active than black. So then try to find the best continuation here for white. Yeah, c7, right. So we need to deflect king out of center and then attacking his bones. Yeah. Then also looking like uh, one available solution, it's uh, f4. So try to deflect your pawn as well.
here, be attentive also. No rush. But there is no other uh, ways. We must to take the spoon. If not, then f3 and you will lose this position. So there is no options here. But yeah, for sure you, you need to calculate everything. But there is looking like one logical option here. And then g4. So black will try create past pawn here also be attentive ah let's check let's check who will promote first oh wait oh my god <laughs> king d7 <laughs> oh too much talking king d7 and was winning Oh, <laughs> but okay, let's play this end game now. Okay, so how we can proceed here? Queen e3, cooking d5. Only. But at least g5, I can capture the spawn. I can win even a2 as well. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, not attentive as well. So I, I still uh, was able to stop your pawn with king d7, but... <laughs> missed this chance but anyway still will fighting for winning be attentive because there is lots of opportunities for skewer so do not place your king on the same line with your queen e4 Okay, e4, what else? Okay, let's take this one. five yeah a seven
why not g7? g8, I mean. King g8. But queen e8. Yeah. Actually, then it's draw. Yeah, so you see there's lots of opportunities for a draw. But... Okay, here b6 was mistake actually because queen is 6. So try to run away here. g5. Hopefully there is no mate from my king. But... Uh, let's take this one. But even without two pawns, anyway, lots of opportunities for perpetual check. So just proceed. Actually, if I can even uh, give give you this pawn, but oh, what, what, what? <laughs> why queen is six? Oh, <laughs> queen is six, and then win it. Not attentive again. So Kevin, not be six right now. Be attentive. So you need to be very concentrated on your game, on your puzzles, uh, just you see one second without attention and that's it, and you missed this chance. So which way, oh, uh, yeah, there's no f checks for now, e7.
Yeah, you see, Kevin, so there is no checks. And this is not good for you. So that's why you need to look in for checks with future checks as well. So with opportunity for make a check next move. That's why just one wrong check and that's it. And then might be troubles. So, 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 one second. Okay, then I need to give a check and push my pawn. So, what about C2? Yes, it too. Also, be attentive with your move because yeah, ah, not no, actually this one not good. So somewhere you can trade queen, somewhere might be skewer, somewhere just exchange. Then yeah, then it's. So Okay. Let's play rematch. So here, yeah, uh, C7, it's correct. Then King K5. Yeah, then capture. And then, yeah, I will try to stop your pawn. So, king e4. Here, also be attentive. Uh, do, not your, do not push your pawn without any reasons, because then you will just help me to catch this pawn faster. Then just improve position of your king and try to protect your pawn. Right, then I need to go around. Yes, e6, right. Then f2 here, attentive. No, no rush, Kevin, no rush. Because he, after king g3, it's done. But you need to play king f6, king g3, and then king f5. And then white and troubles. But they still have solution. But anyway, black need to play very attentive as well. So king f5 was again uh, automatically move. And that's why you messed up here. That's why no rush. Even if it's looking so logically, so naturally, but take take your time and take a look attentive. So let's play. Uh, let's uh, press uh, take back.
and your move as well. Yeah, so here, let's play king f6 first. So, so you need to uh, place f5. Ah, oh, no, it, it's my move. Here, yeah. So let's uh, join f5 after I will join g3. Then makes sense. So king f6 first. So wait until I will join g3. <coughs> yeah, Kevin, king f6 is better here. Yeah, so then when I will join king g3, you can protect your pawn. And then looking like white will lose this pawn, looking like winning for black, but uh, white still have good chance. So guys, uh, do you see? It's a survival move here for white. What is the best move here for white? You can send me in chat if you find it. Kevin, uh, any ideas? How white can proceed here? So, 40 seconds, guys, for your solution. And I will proceed this game. No ideas? Sixteen seconds. Okay, so actually there is mm, king h4. And with stalemate idea. Yeah, so that's why you see even here, like in pawn and games for sure, it's very typically idea stalemate, but sometimes it's not really uh, obvious. So as usual we have stalemate in the corner, but here still few pawns, but they are blocked and so a nice uh, survival move for white. Okay, Kevin, good job. So uh, let's play, let's play this position. So actually I, <laughs> I like this position. This is from Batvinix game. So it's not so, it's looking like, yeah, we have extra knight, but black king e4, it's for previous puzzle, right? Or, or you mean here? Take this one e immediately. Ah, black. Black in k4, you mean previous puzzle, previous position, I mean, in k4. Yes, so previous position. Uh, wait a minute, so take here, here, a4. You mean here? In k4. Ah, here. But um, he 
will take this. King f3. And then it's winning for black. We have a uh, protected fast pawn. So for example here, here, then it's winning for white. Uh, for black I mean. In the end, instead of ah, instead of stalemate. Ah, okay. Okay, so uh, here, 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 six. Yeah, uh, then we will just capture this one. And then uh, again, winning for white. So even if you will take this. Still winning for white, so I can even take this immediately. So then it's winning, yeah. So there's not too many chances in this position. So yeah, after King H4, uh, G3 also winning. So then, yeah. So then it's uh, draw after King F4. If not, then we will lose this position. So, uh, Kevin, yeah, let's try to play this position. So, very interesting position. So, let's say I will play black pieces. Yeah, and you will try to win with extra piece. So with um, yeah, I will play black pieces. So it's why to move. Yeah. So first of all, try to improve your position, your pieces. So trying to improve position of your king, of your knight, but also don't forget about past pawn, his past pawn on f3. So every time your knight or king. Uh, might be near this pawn. King G3, yeah, looking like the most logical move, right? There is not too many opportunities for black. They need just wait, and that's it. So let's say. H5. Yeah, at H3, right, so activate your knight. So how black can proceed? There is no king g5, h6. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I missed wrong direction for my king. But let's check again. Yeah, I need to go backward. So here. Because actually your knight still can attack my pawns. My the weakness the weakest one on b7 so then I need to protect square e6 just to avoid knight e6 
Yeah. Uh, so knight f5 or f7. Let's say f5, f5. Knight h5. So g7 threat. And then maybe d8, d6. Which is really annoying. So let's run on a 6. Uh, let's say knight f5 backward. Oh, this is a good idea actually, a4. Right. So yeah, you are very close to right direction. So there is no like h6, knight f6, uh, king f6 available. So let's say king f6. Check again. Let's say King F seven. Ah, A5. Um, now it will be hard. Now it will be hard, I guess, to win this position. But anyway, try to realize in your advantage you have extra piece. Actually, what about knight d5 here? Take here. So this is also a very typical idea. So then I guess my king might be staying close to the pawns. 
just preventing this sacrifice. Okay. Let's save six. Knight is active now, but let's say, let's say g8, will stay close to my weakness. So, your knight staying perfect. So he attacking my weakness, I protected. But how you can improve your position? This is question. Hard question because your king need to protect this pawn. So you see, even with extra, no, uh, is with extra piece. Anyway, it's not so simple to win this game. So I will wait. King g8. Uh, c8. I mean, yeah, makes sense to attack my another my another weakness pawn. So. Why not uh, g8 and, pro and proceed to attack this one? Some counterplay for black. <laughs> so be attentive. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. So even with one bone, uh, black still able to uh, create uh, counterplay, counter attack. Yeah, then a five G three, five G three, G five. Take here, check. Yeah, nothing here. Okay, so yeah, you will take this one. Okay, so then I will go back.
anyway you still you still uh, need to protect f2 so then one of of your pieces must be blockade or waiting for my pawn So, Kevin, what about draw? So this one looking like a draw already. You cannot activate your king. And I still have uh, able to protect my weakness. Yeah, Kevin, here it's already draw. It's already draw, yeah, but mm, there is no chances. But yeah, this is very interesting position. Actually, it for me, it, it also takes some time yesterday to analyze this position and to find right solution. So yeah, so uh, it's draw. But uh, my advice for you, just uh, to use uh, to just make a screenshot, or I will send you a link later on this uh, study, and try to place these pieces on your board, and try to find uh, the best plan, the best. Like even just uh, playing this position, so try to playing uh, for white, for black, try to protect this position for black pieces, and try to find the best plan for white. So I, I, um, we will we will take a look maybe this position or analyze this position later on our lessons. But for now, yeah, just uh, set up pieces on the board when you will have time, yeah, and just try to find uh, the best plan for white here. You almost, you almost find one of them. So first of all, our idea was it's improving our pieces. So yeah, you uh, made it right. So activated your king, your knight. Then actually Batvinik uh, improving his pawns. On queen side but not like you he uh, find another way how to improve these pawns then he catch it h7 pawn and then only he start attacking b7 pawn so then uh, black king must to go backward and to protect b7 so but this is this is yeah very interesting and not so simple end game so that's why it will it will be helpful to practice in, on your board so just set up the pieces and try to find the best solution without engines without nothing so just with your skills and practice so this is, would be very helpful so that's why i uh, I will not show you right continuation, so you, you, I guess I guess you will find it without any troubles. But it, it it will take some time. Okay, so what is what else here? We have we have extra bishop. Ex 
here. Here also an interesting position. But let's play this one. This one actually uh, Fisher. Fisher played Okay, Kevin. Okay, Kevin. So we'll see you next time if you leave the stream. If not, we still can play one more if you have time. So this is uh, position uh, Fisher. Fisher played with white pieces. Yeah, and also here the most important is to find right plan. Because looking like all black pieces are protected, so there is almost no weaknesses. But but white uh, still can find some opportunities and some ideas because still we have a uh, small advantage. But actually, six pawns against seven and rook against bishop. Okay, Kevin, so I will send you challenge of this position. So, so let's say, um, yeah, I will play in black, black pieces. So you need to find the best plan for white. So you have already a uh, material advantage. And try to realize your advantage. So, no rush, yeah, because uh, you need to analyze this position, find the weaknesses, find the potential threats for your opponent, and then step by step use your plan. So looking like there's almost no weaknesses, but there is no unprotected pieces, but there is some weaknesses anyway. So that's why looking maybe for weak squares. F7. I will move King B6, I guess. Yeah, B6.
Yeah, yeah, guys. Any ideas? How to proceed here? So queen h6, yeah, I can even go backward on uh, b7, c7. Which one's better? Maybe queen c6, just trade. If I will trade these queens, but yeah, I, I don't need it. I guess king b7, it's fine. Queen c4 by uh, past pawn. Uh, I don't think so that this past pawn would be really dangerous. So, queen c4, bc, king c6, and I will capture at your pawn. So, c4 would be weak after a trade. But what else, guys? Uh, so looking for ideas, looking for weaknesses. By White played Fisher, so it might be something really, really exciting. <laughs> so, but not so obvious. Ooh. C4 immediately. What about Anpasan? Kevin, I guess you forgot about Anpasan now. So just take it. And then looking not good for white. Then I guess draw would be <laughs> very good result for white. Do you remember about Anpasan? I hope because C4 immediately down a pawn. Trade rook for bishop and d pawn. Uh, but how we can how we can trade bishop for rook? Okay, uh, Kevin, yeah, there is no chances here actually. Like, yeah, there is some chances, but let's let's check our beginning position. So, here. How we can trade uh, this one and deep one? Ah, you mean... Uh, Rook d4, queen d4, queen f8, or what? But he can capture it with pawn. So there is no trade this bishop. So, uh, guys, let's take a look at this position and find the weaknesses in black position. So all pieces are protected. At least it's good. But uh, what about squares? Which squares are weak here? Where is uh, weak squares in black position? Uh, I don't, uh, Danila. I uh, send me your your name on Liches. B5, G6, B5, G6, E6. Yeah, yeah. So white squares, right? White uh, color squares. Fins fleet. Okay, I will. 
send you right now. Okay, so white squares are weak, right? So this is key to our plan. So fans fleet. So let's try Danila this position. So uh, with I will play in black. And try to use weakness of white square white squares. Fisher actually find very uh, tricky idea, but actually pretty logical as well. Uh, actually, you are right, Danila. It's looking slowly, right, but still available. So, uh, plan, Robert Fisher's plan was in this maneuver. Join f7 and attacking this bishop. When we will eliminate this bishop, then we can start eating bones from g7 but also uh, during this maneuver we need to be sure that black cannot move the pawns because in some cases they can sacrifice or even open uh, space for queen so then we will be uh, we must to protect these bones and c2 as well so that's why yeah king h3 yeah this is was the first move of fisher but yeah black will try to do something against your plan for example let's say so i'm thinking about bishop d6 or queen c3 immediately 
56 Let's say queen c3 first. Rook e2, yeah. But e2 or g2 was better. Probably g2, but was because king will protect this one. Because now, wait, if I will attack your rook, then b5 probably. But anyway, let's try to attack your rook and pawn. Actually, this one also hang it. Oh, wait, wait, it's too fast. What about a 5 a5 five hanging? So then you have at least queen d7 and then rook d2. But make sure that you will protect. Now I have this move. Okay, then my bishop still hanging. Uh, so what is queen c8 only? Uh, I guess it makes sense. Trade queens right now. I guess it's enough. Like bishop to pawns. Let's try. But queen b5 and take a5. Mm -hmm. Right. So c7, a5, d7. Yeah, interesting in the game. Now with passed pawn for white as well. So now I guess not really makes sense to trade queens. Trade, trade and protect the passed pawn. So king k6, yeah, let's run away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you still cannot use your plan because you lose your pawn on a five. So then, yeah, then uh, you need to change your plan because now it's uh, dangerous to uh, use the same plan. But what is your idea of king g2? Why not just something like a5, just push your pawn? So how black will able add uh, queen c3 as well? Or what? What about e4? E4, rook d4, queen c2. Not perfect. Yeah, let's say queen c3 first. Uh, 
Ah, you you send go to f3, then g4. No, I guess without f5. So with your pawn on f5, this uh, pawn chain was almost blocked. So then you have um, saved your way to his weak squares. Without f5, uh, it's yeah, it's very dangerous. So then you need to change your plan. So queen e2. Okay, but your queen is pretty passive now. But uh, yeah, still, mm, still very interesting position. Uh, how black can proceed this attack? So first of all, maybe something like a five e4. But should be six e4 in future maybe. But f5 I guess g4 available. But g6 take take then. Okay yeah I guess uh, five still. But okay let's say. But then if I will move my queen then d4 will hang in. Okay let's push my pawns. Yeah, rook d3. Then let's say let's say c6 check. Oh, oh h3 looking not good. Look h1 h2 almost made so be attentive h2 looking more uh, solid now uh, h1 h1 h2 f1 g2 hmm. yeah be attentive but here looking like still fine but this is dangerous. So at least, at least I have bishop c5 here and then e4, right? Uh, what, what about trade actually? Here, here, trade, trade. Can I win this position? For example, king d5, a5, bishop c5, then e4. Uh, looking interesting. And I guess we can try. Yeah, let's try this position. Looking interesting. So check. I don't sure that it's winning, but uh, looking interesting. So then uh, trade on this square or yeah, let's trade here. Then uh, bishop c5 or king d5. <clears throat> I guess bishop c5 immediately. So six pawns against five. So uh, bishop against rook plus pawn. So yeah, very interesting position. Still white king not really active. So I guess black have chances.
Yeah, King G2. Right, so we need to improve position of our king. And then uh, E4. Then what? What about here? G4 and then a four. Or King E5 immediately. But now he will able to push his pawn. Hmm. Uh, um, okay, let's say G5. But. I will open files for his rooks, which is not good. But looking, wait, if I will try to block this pawn, but with bishop it's not a very good idea. Okay, let's try g5. Let's try to create um, dangerous past pawns. So there's few opportunities for white rook a1 and push this pawn or maybe open h file and just join this open file because our rooks they need open files where they can play actively H5. It's not good, actually. But wait, if you will open next file, then would be fine. Yeah. So yeah, still available. So you maybe you want to uh, take my H6 later and promote your H5. So it's available, but uh, let's check how it's. But as usual, yeah, makes sense to open file for your rook. So I guess hg makes sense. But let's see, maybe you will open g file and then attack my h6. Okay, so G file is open. Ooh. Are you sure that it's a good idea? I have D3 with discover check at least. D3, king E1 takes, rook C1. Hmm. Let's say check here. Take C1. And that's it. There is nothing. So there is nothing here. Uh, what else? Wait. Uh, D3, E1, C2, C1. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Weird. Weird.
F3 first. Yeah, let's say F3. Yeah, discovery check looking dangerous, but after after King Q1 takes. Oh, this one not good. Rook G1. <laughs> now discovered attack. Yes. Now uh, D3 and discovered. Yeah, so not attentive in the end. Yeah, then it's winning. Then, yeah, just promotion. Yeah, thank you. So, queen. Yeah, then bishop d4. Then here. Then works. Check. Check. Thank you guys for following. Check and a one mate. Okay. So guys, uh, we have very in we have in very interesting position here. Any ideas about about plan for white pieces? So it's white to move. Yeah, this is Fisher's game. And what do you think? What is the best plan for white here? Uh, Kevin and Danilo already uh, knew this plan, but for other guys, yeah, just very interesting position. Not, not bad, Danila. Just uh, blender in the end. Yeah, so rook g1 was blender. But before was not bad. So. But yeah, you see, so uh, looking like we have uh, extra material. But anyway, it's not so. Not so simple to win this position. <laughs> so guys, any ideas about uh, best plan for white here? Okay, so yeah, so like I told before, yeah, here we we have weak weak white squares around black uh, position. So then um, king can join these squares and then attacking f8. When bishop will uh, escape, then take g7. But uh, during this maneuver, we need to be attentive about these pawns. So we need to control in these pawns and uh, make sure that they cannot uh, open space for uh, opponent queen. So that's why yeah, it's also very nice position for playing for white, for black. So uh, you can play, you can first of all analyze on your board and later just playing with your friends or with your coach. Yeah, 
this is if you will playing like for white for black you will improve in your understanding and you will improve in your end games because this is yeah very uh, very helpful um, for our uh, improving yeah when we can play these positions with white and with black so also uh, here also nice position if I uh, not mistaken this is very famous position from Capablanca's game so uh, what do you think guys it's white to move what is the plan what is the best plan for white here we can like five pawns against five but uh, we have active rook we have protected past pawn so how we can improve our position and how we can uh, use our pieces in the best way here so you need to look in f not for moves you need to look in for whole plan so first of all imagine where you will put your pieces for better for better coordination Rook h6. Rook h6. Uh, we will trade. We will trade uh, rooks. Then king g8, king h7, and looking like we are down a pawn. So rook h6 not really uh, work here. And again, you see, uh, rook h6. It's just move. Try to uh, think about your plan, not about your move. Because right now uh, we have threat, rook c3. So at least after rook h6, uh, rook c3 available as well. And then he will take all your pawns. g6, but then rook g6. G6, Rook G6, uh, Rook uh, C7, Rook G7, and there is no troubles for Black. What else, guys? How we can improve position of our pieces? Which piece not really active right now in white position? Oh, here, yeah. This is a nice idea, right? So uh, we need to move our king on g3, then h4, and then, for example, g6 king goes here and with checkmate threats. So here we need to improve position of our king. So that's why king g3. For example, check uh, king h4. Then, uh, for example, Attacking this one, g6. And king g5, king f6 coming. Uh, what if rook c1, rook c1 with rook h1, uh, g6, check here, take, take. Yeah, I guess g6 still available. Here, here, take. And then winning as well. Five, we can take this one. Yeah. So uh, that's why, yeah, we have. So that's. Uh, it's not only move. We have a plan. We have a plan to improve our king. So then, after king g3, here, for example, here g6, and then our king gets very active. So then f6 next, for example. 
e4, king f6. King f6 with mate here. So king g8 only. Then check, uh, then take c7 and mate from other side. So rook e8. Then we can take a 5 and push other pawn as well. So then it's, for example, d8. Then we can maybe push this one, right? Or try to stop this pawn. What is better here? King e6. D4. D4 actually dangerous here, here. Then F6, D2. Yeah, let, let's block this one. And then we still can push the spawns. So, yeah. But here, the main idea, yeah, it's improving on of our uh, king. So that's why we need to look on all board, on whole board, and uh, to improve all our pieces. So if king is not uh, active enough, then we need to improve position of he, our king. Okay, and uh, here and this one. Yeah, let's uh, take a look at this position. This is uh, white to move, so there is equal material. So it's 5 against 5, a rook ending. So how do you think? What is our plan? How we can uh, proceed in this position? So let's look for weaknesses and how to improve our pieces as well. So we have active king. We have uh, passed pawn. But there is pawn majority on king side. So any ideas how we can press it for white here? Which plan we can use? So guys, any ideas? How we can uh, press it in this position? We still have open file. And we need to use our rook. So to attack black side. So guys, no ideas at all. But what about black weaknesses? This pawn looking not really solid. B4 also. This rook not really active right now. He must to 
pinned our opponent only. So then let's start to attack, let's start to improve of our rook, so rook e4. So we're attacking this one. We will able to attack maybe other weaknesses on other side. So and then uh, also looking like almost uh, Zugzwang, like not hold Zugzwang, but position where not too many opportunities for black. So something like if rook will move uh, down, then c6, I guess, immediately. If something like a5, then rook unprotected, maybe king c4 or or rook g4. So then uh, king c7, rook e7. So then we need to play maybe with the pawns only. So g6, try to still uh, protect everything uh, ahead of the pawns. But wait, actually rook is, ah, rook e6 is not working right now, right? Rook e6, rook c5, and then take this. So also a uh, small tactic. Small tactic in end game. So then it's uh, wide to move. So how we can proceed? Does it make sense to attack this one immediately? So rook h4, h5, then maybe h4 or any other ideas or maybe just this one first, then rook g4 Or just uh, blocked this pawn, b3. Just make sure that we still can attack this pawn and still she cannot move in at all. So let's say, let's say uh, rook g4, g4, g5. Then if h4, then something like f5. So here f5 or h5. Let's say f5. Take, take, take here. So this sacrifice not really good here, but um, What is the best move here? Just rook d4. But then f4. Take, take. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, d4. Take, take, and then rook e4 again and attack this one. Yeah, rook e5 e and so rook b8 What about check? Check c7 check here Here, here, here. Yeah, looking like not good for black at all. So, but you see it's also not really obvious. So that's why it's very helpful to practice these positions. Okay, guys. So there are some left, some positions left anyway. But uh, let's play, uh, let's play puzzle battle. Any. 
any players who want to play against me in puzzle battle <laughs> or maybe um, maybe puzzle race or something on liches as well puzzle racer available here as well Danila, do you want to play in Puzzle Racer? Okay, so let me know guys if you... Okay, let's play one time, so... Raise your friend. Oh, I will send you challenge. Yeah, I send you link. Did you find my link, Danila? Five, four, okay. three, two, one, zero. Okay, what what's happened? Ah, oh, it was a wrong mistake. Uh, okay. Whoa, that's also a mistake. So Daniela 10, yeah, so you need to work in a with your tactic, do you want to play again or you are, you are done? So yeah, tactic it's very important, so 10 looking like not enough, so, uh, oh, Okay, so I will So good job Daniela, but You need you need working hard with your tactic So then
let's let's check maybe there are some interesting tournaments Let's play this one. This is nine sixty or Fisher chess. This is um, kind of chess, yeah, which was created by Fisher. The main idea it was that too many knowledges for openings. And Fisher want to eliminate this opportunity so that almost everyone, even without deeply a deep knowledge about opening, can fight in for win for winning. That's why here we have randomly placed pieces, and then it means that you cannot use just traditional knowledge is about traditional variations and traditional openings that's why yeah here the main the main your chance it's your uh, vision your tactic your your creativity as well so you need to find the best maneuver for your piece, how to improve this piece. Sometimes when you have like bishop on in the corner, like on a rook place, then you need to try to develop this bishop as fast as possible. And uh, yeah, this is very helpful as well. So this is one of the um, good practicing kind of chess so the same like um, crazy house uh, it's also very helpful so where is my open and I guess I will wait till actually it's yeah I will leave this tournament I can just play one game or a few games so play let's say five minutes and um, here Come on. Oh, weird. Okay. Then let's check. Maybe I can play puzzle battle with somebody uh, from my friend list. What about this guy, Christopher? You <laughs> not accepting challenges so well, unfortunately. So, uh, Uh, this guy it's high ranking yeah let's try with this one
Come on. Invite all. Okay, Daniela, see you later. You are very welcome. Kind of uh, smooth red mate. Uh, take this first, and then we can make a skewer. Take H7 or H7 immediately. Okay, yeah, so let's find another opponent. Weird. There is no, there is no <laughs> opponents. Okay, let's uh, practice with just puzzles. So I still, um, still um, thinking about three thousand in puzzles. So why to move? C five. But take the queen c6. Take. No, uh, wait. Take this, take this, c5. Take, take, and queen c6. But rook c1. 
Oxy one. Is it winning? I guess it's winning. Ah, C6. Okay. Yes, yeah, so uh, white remove again. Here, black king looking not good. So, how we can This is not so simple. How we can join G6 with our knight? Knight F3 with knight H4, but looking like too slowly. Any ideas, guys? Uh, I'm thinking about Knight F3, but looking like not fast enough. So Knight F3, Knight H4, it's take some tempos so knight of 3 knight 97 for example and that's it wait why is it it knight h4 still available but bishop d5 ed for me knight of three looking the most logically here so let's play knight of three mm -hmm. knight of seven yeah then knight h4 anyway right wait what about knight c7 knight to six Or knight h let's say knight h ah no so take and then knight h4 come on this was obvious oh my god it was pretty simple mm. so why to move check c7 we're down a queen it's not good. So, what about g4? c7, bishop, b8, bishop, b6, done. Yeah. So, g4, take this, d8, 
and b6. Yeah, this one pretty simple. Here, black to move. Okay, so pawn ending. So g5. Seven H four H four here 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 take take here 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 and check yeah first but let's check again but first move is G five for sure here. King e4, King e4, King g6, g4, hg, hg, King g5, King f3, King h4. <laughs> no. So then g4. Okay. Then uh, white rook is pinned. Here, here. But and bishop p5, queen c2. Hmm, still protected. Oh, f4, f4. King d3 and bishop f5. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this one pretty simple as well. So, we need to deflect this queen. First idea was uh, something like that, but I guess there is nothing after takes, takes, rook f7, no, not make sense at all. What if uh, rook g7, rook e8, and then promote? Rook g7, rook e8. Rook g7. Yeah, he cannot move this queen somewhere. Because, yeah, I guess rook g7. No. Mm. H7. No. Or... Just rook c1. Then here. No, it's also not good. So what is the right idea? Any ideas, guys? 
I don't sure. But I don't think so that rook f7, right? Oh my god, really? Rook f7? Oh. Okay, but then rook e8? Are you serious? Oh my god. Why rook f7 better than. Then rook h7, for example. Hmm? Like g7, for example. Ah, d3. Ah, yeah, d3. Here, d2. Yeah, okay. But uh, rook f7, the same d2, no? Uh, d3, no? Here, 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 right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, now I understood why. Then promotion. Yeah, yeah. I missed this. Uh -huh. Okay. Here, black to move. So, past pawn. Then here, protected past pawn. Uh, this one weakness. So we need to take as fast as possible this one. Ninety-five. Here, take, take, check. Here, a three. Here, a two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this one also not difficult for uh, high level. For twenty-nine hundred, it's not difficult at all. Here, queen g6. Queen g6 looking logically. Yeah, queen g6. If I will take this queen, rook f1, king b2, and e2. e2. So, bishop f1, rook f1, king, uh, rook b2, uh, king b2, e2. Uh, rook a7 Rook g8 So um, King b2 Rapid um, Rapid Let's check I don't remember actually. Uh, rapid, rapid, rapid. Uh, Twenty one or seven. So, uh, uh, 
Uh, let's. What can King B2? King B2 is better. King B2, Queen D3. Take with. Let's say Queen. Here, take with Queen or with Paul. I guess with queen. Yeah, so just protect against, uh, prevent this bones. Okay, here black to move. So we cannot capture this rook because of mate. Actually, two mates available. So <clears throat> we need to play force it. So we have a four here. Here we have a bunch of forced moves. Let's start with a four. So if here, then take with tempo. Uh, H, but H two available. H two. Then check H three. Take, take, check. Interesting, but uh, okay. Wait, what if? Okay, let's uh, press it just with pawn. F4, king h2. What else? F4, king f3. But then bishop c. Why? No, no. There is queen e3. So after f4, there's just king h2. Then check. King h3. But queen e3. h4. g3. h5. Takes h6. Oh my god, there is no mate. For now. This is weird. Uh, again, f4, h2, queen d2, king h3. If bishop g4, king g4, queen g2, king f4, there is no mate. Okay, so f4, king h2. Queen d2, king h3, queen e3, king h4, this position, queen g3, king h5, bishop g4, king h6, oh my god, <laughs> still no mate. Okay, what, what if bishop e5? Bishop e5, yeah, bishop e5, so controlling h2, king f3, king, uh, bishop c6, king e2, queen c2, king e1, yeah, we will checkmate him with two, with two bishops, so bishop e5. So very close to three thousand. So black to move. B three, rook B seven, B two, G six. B3, rook B7, B3, 
g6, knight d3 and knight b4. Yeah, I guess something like that. Yeah, promote b4, but uh, b3 rook here, b2, g6, and then I guess knight d3 and block b file. So here, here. What about c4? c4 take c4 and c3 c4 maybe now c4 Ah, oh, come on, b2, b2, and then I uh, made here, so, which way, f8 or d8, d8, yeah, just to attack this rook, I, yeah, I have, I had this idea, but last minute just changed my mind, so, why to move? Uh, just win the spawn, or we'll, we'll try to checkmate him. In here, 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 here. I guess we can. Come on. There is mate somewhere, yeah? Six. Take. Where is mate here? So check here, here. Where is mate? So B2. Check here. Okay. Weird, but okay. So this rook is pinned. This one. Why he? He gave this knight. What is the move knight f3? <clears throat> Just queen f3. Queen a2. But okay, this knight anyway, not dangerous. So bishop c4. But uh, bishop c4. Knight d4, rook d4, and take this one. Take take immediately, or take d4 first. Check. Ah, wait. Take, take, take. Then C2 hanging. So if something like queen d5, bishop d2, If I will take this, this then uh, c2 hanging, but then bishop c4, 
and extra rook raid. No. <laughs> Queen b7. Queen b7. I, actually, I never check this move. I was sure that queen d5. Queen b7. Knight c2. Or queen a2. I guess queen d5, but wait, queen a2 not available. Bishop here. Let's check queen b7, but I guess queen d5 better. No, queen b7, right? Yeah. Hmm. And then, if it's queen b8, I guess, wait, yeah, queen b, queen b8, I guess. No, queen here. Uh, what is here? Queen f5. Huh. Yeah, this is interesting. Queen f5. Knight f5. Take the 7. But. Huh. Queen f5, what about this check? But no, there is not interest. Huh. Queen f5, interesting. Let's check. Oh my god, queen f5. And rook d7. <laughs> Actually, yeah, this is puzzle. Not obvious. Like, first move, yes. Pretty simple. But then. I was sure that. I was sure that um, here uh, rook d4 and it's enough, but then I realized that uh, there is attack on c2. Yeah, even after, even after take this, uh, bishop c4, b5, but uh, I can still go. Here, let's check. So here, knight d4, take, take. If take this, take this, bishop c4. b5, d3. Ah, there is no extra rook. Why I was sure that I have extra rook? For sure. Yeah, there is just one extra pawn. So take this, take this, take here and... <laughs> oh wait, not here, queen f5, but uh, yeah, this is not obvious, yeah, that's why, take here, queen b7, queen b7, take this, rook c7, Queen d5, d7, queen f5, yeah, queen f5. Yeah, this is. Knight is 7 bishop c4, and still a rook and knight against queen. Yeah, interesting. So, black to move, d4 hanging, but d7 also, but can I uh, trap this queen, so take d4, take d7, he still can escape on a4, so let's take this, take this, then knight f6, but 
tail queen b7 rook b7 b8 oh my god uh, bishop d4 queen d7 Ah, okay, no. Knight f6. If uh, queen a4, then bishop c3. But if b7. Yeah, I guess this is correct. So take d4. Then knight f6, queen a4. Take this one extra piece. But if uh, f6, b7. b8. C6 and take this. Yeah, F6. Extra piece. Okay. Here. Uh huh. Something with this check. Wait, why is. Wait. Or A4. Uh, bishop b5 knight d7 hmm it might be something with bishop b5 or with uh, queen a4 queen a4 bishop c6 bishop b5 queen d7 yeah so bishop b5, knight d7. Is it available queen f3? I guess not really dangerous. But again, uh, bishop b5, knight d7, knight e4, bishop e4, queen a4, bishop b7, and that's it. Okay, um, ah, okay, yeah, I see. Bishop b5 first. Ah, oh, why bishop b5? Queen a4. Oh, I just. Queen a4, bishop c6, bishop b5. And then if queen d7, we can capture it on e4. And then f6, double attack. Oh. I just uh, made a wrong move. Yeah. So why to move? Why to move this knight? It's unprotected. Knight of six. Queen f4, knight h5, takes, takes, here, takes. But 
it's equal now. Again, take, take, create check, but take, take. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Take, take, then knight h5, take, take, here, take, knight, bishop to rooks, knight, bishop to rooks. Ah, okay, knight f5 first. We can start attack here. Yeah, knight f5. Knight g5. Knight g5, hg, queen g5, rook g8, yeah. <laughs> Five points only. Okay, here, black to move. Check here, check. Or bishop e4 first check here check. Uh, looking simple, but it might be. So rook d1, king g2, bishop d5, f3, g f king f2. Okay, so uh, check first, then check, and then rook d2, I guess. Come on. <laughs> it was simple. Okay, guys, and the last one. So, why to move? Take f7. Take, take, check. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, this one easier. Yeah, not attentive. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for following. Thank you for watching, and thank you guys for rate as well. So we'll try to create more and more instructive videos and streams for you in future. So that's why. Follow my uh, Twitch, my YouTube channel, and we'll be in touch. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.